Okay, wanted to show you. This is what it looks like. Um, I had used it as a mirror actually, but this is the backup light. Okay, and if I turn this off and I go to play some videos, and I've got this whole list of videos here that are taken. And let me go back one here. Here's here's the video coming home. Okay. This is uh, this is good. And then if I go, uh, let's do do this. And we can do the back the videos. This is the back. And I have it upside down. <laughs> Sorry about that. But the nice thing about it is, I want to go back to the other. The nice thing about it is, you can go from video to video right after you've been there. And I mean, you, you hit the whole thing. There's a car wash. I'm going through the car wash. There you go. There's a car wash. This thing is really slick. And I like it better than the other kinds of um, dash cams that I've had that um, that you can't play right away. You gotta take the SD card out and put it into your computer and then look at it that way. This one, you have instant access to it, so. Hey, what's up guys so uh it's actually really nice right now it's in just normal mirror mode you can see okay out of it it actually looks a little bit better on the camera um turn the car off man it is hard to do it that hand Sorry. Turn the car off. Stays off. I actually do have a uh, parking assist on. So it will keep, continue to record. Turn it on. See it load up. So, I have default load screen as the split. Um, pretty nice. A lot. I I do like it a lot. You wire the view camera to um the backup light. So whenever you throw it in reverse, you'll get that. There are two types of backup camera. This one does the whole camera. I actually like that. If you hit this uh, in the corner, then it does a full screen but it chops off a lot of it and you can uh, zoom up down when it's like this it shows the whole picture I know my fingers in the way the biggest problem I have with it. I just fired it. It was a pain in the butt. You might be able to kind of see the issue already. So, 
I'm tall enough, I never use my visor. Oh. But the fiance definitely use it all the time. I don't know if that's going to be a deal breaker for her not. Other than that, wiring was just annoying, tedious, pretty easy though. I have it so it times out. Um, after one minute, it becomes the normal. Uh, wiring tedious, not hard by any means. Um, I got the installation kit too, but that that uh interference, I may be sending it back. So I got this rear view camera mirror from Wolfbox. I put it on my motorcycle so I can see my blind spots. As you know, these mirrors really don't do anything for you. And I wanna see who's behind me, how far behind me. And it actually covers your blind spots as well. Um, you can see the car to the far left and right as they approach so it really captures a lot visibility daytime is good not great but good you could definitely see low light a lot better but uh if you plan on putting it on your bike i would recommend it's not waterproof or made for outdoor installment but it works oh. 